Hi, in this particular video, we're going to have a look at a circle theorems. This is one that I haven't done for a little while, actually, but I thought it would be about time that we actually did a few questions on circle theorems. OK, so it says A, B and C are all points in the circumference. O is the centre. Calculate X. So in other words, what they want to know is this angle here. OK, well, this one is fairly straightforward, providing you recognise that what we've actually got here is a couple of isosceles triangles triangles because this O to A is the radius, which is also the same as O to C. So what you've actually got there is a very small kind of isosceles triangle that looks like that, okay? This is A, this is O, and this is C. Now, if it's isosceles, then it means not only are those sides the same, but also if this is 25 degrees, then this is will also be 25 degrees. So in other words, this point here is 25 degrees. OK, hopefully you can see that's OK. So if you were being asked for showing your reasoning, yes, you could do a little sketch like that, no problems at all. Or if you want to put it in the way that they want it in the exam, you could write something like AOC is isosceles, OK, and angle. Um, OCA, which is this angle here, is equal to 25 degrees. OK, no problems. That's the first part of it. The second part of it is also the isosceles triangle, which is the one which is here. So it's this one to there to there. So what we've got is um, effectively something, and I'll just try and draw this on the screen for you on the video. So this is B. This is O and this is C. And again, we know these two sides are the same because they're both the radius of the circle. OK, so what we also know is that this is 65 degrees, which is this one here. We also know that this other angle, this side here, is actually also 65 degrees. Now, it's made up of 25 plus x. So we're going to use that bit of information to be able to figure out the value of x. OK, so again, I'm going to write it in the way that they would want it. They would want something along the lines of BOC is isosceles, OK, and therefore base angles are the same. Are the same. So in other words, the way that we're going to calculate that is we're going to say that actually if this angle here is 65, which is made up of these two parts, then we can say that 65 equals 25 plus x. OK, so therefore, if we want to find the value of X, what I'm going to do is I'm going to minus 25 from both sides. Remember your algebra here. OK, so 25 minus 25 disappears and I just get X and 65 minus 25 is 40. OK, so therefore X equals 40 degrees. OK, and that would be the answer to this particular question. OK, I hope that's been OK for you. Sometimes um, when you're working through this kind of circle problems, looking for things like isosceles triangles is very, very helpful indeed. Uh, please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.